The method with which we will solve this question will simply blow your mind. Today we need to simplify the expression root 2 minus 1 whole raised to 12 into the form a plus b times root 2 where a and b will be integers. So, can you solve it? Okay, I think most of you will try the traditional way to expand it directly like this, but that would be way too complicated. Instead, let me show you a much smarter way. Let us say we have a variable x equals root 2 minus 1. So now our job is to find the value of x raised to 12, right? Now take this one on the left side to get x plus 1 equals root 2. After this, let us square both sides of this to get x plus 1 whole square equals root 2 square. We can now use the a plus b whole square formula. So we get x square plus 2 times x plus 1 square, or 1 equals root 2 square becomes 2. Now take 1 and 2x on the right-hand side to get x square equals 2 minus 1 minus 2x, or x square equals 1 minus 2x. Awesome! Now let us square this thing again on both sides to get x squared whole square equals 1 minus 2x whole square. This is nothing but x to the fourth power. Now expand this to get 1 square minus 2 times, 1 times 2x plus 2x whole square. So x to the fourth equals 1 minus 4x plus 4x square. Now here comes the magic. We can rewrite this x square here as 1 minus 2x to get this. Now add like terms together. To get x to the fourth equals 5 minus 12x. Noise. Now let us multiply x square on both sides of the equation. But this x square will be the same as 1 minus 2x. So write x square this side, but here we will use x square as 1 minus 2x. Using this power rule, this will become x to the fourth power plus 2, or x to the sixth power. Now, let us multiply the right-hand side term by term. This will be 5, this will be minus 5 times 2x, or minus 10x. Then this will be minus 12x, and this will be minus 12x times minus 2x, or plus 24x square. So it will be 5, and both of them will become minus 22x and plus 24x square. Now again, substitute x square as 1 minus 2x. So this will become 24 minus 48x. Thus we get x to the sixth equals this plus this equals 29, and minus this will be 70x. Great! Finally, in order to get x to the twelfth, we will square this x to the sixth. We get 29 minus 70x whole square, which equals 29 square minus 2 times 29 times 70 x plus 70 x whole square. So it will be 841 minus this will be 4060 x plus this will be 4900 x squared, right? Now you know the drill. Substitute x square as 1 minus 2 x to get this as 4900 minus 9800 x. So x to the 12 equals this will be 5, 7, 4, 1, minus this will be 13, 860 times x. Lastly, just substitute the value of x as root 2 minus 1 here to get 5, 7, 4, 1 minus this times root 2, and both these minus will become plus 13, 860. This will give us x to the 12th, or root 2 minus 1 raised to the power of 12 equals 19, 6, 0, 1 minus 13, 860 times root 2, and that's it. The solution was simply mind-blowing. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good!